Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be explaining the five CSS position styles, which are static, relative, absolute, fixed, and sticky. And I'll be using these small web page examples, these three blocks, to explain the difference between these styles. This is the code I currently have. This is the HTML. I have a div with a class of container. And then I have three divs here, which are red block, blue block, and green block. This is the CSS for them. The container has a height of 200 pixels, a width of 400 pixels, a border and padding and a display of flex. The red, blue and green block have a width and height of 100 pixels and a margin height of 20 pixels. The red block a background color of red, blue, background color blue, green, background color green. This is the result. Before I go further to explain the different CSS positions, I want to first explain what positioned and non-positioned elements are in CSS. By default, all elements in the HTML in the DOM are non-positioned. And non-positioned elements are elements that are not affected by positioning styles like top, right, left, bottom. Top, right, left, bottom only applies to positioned elements. And if this doesn't make sense, I'll explain as I proceed with with this video. Let's start with the first CSS position which is static. By default, all elements are statically positioned. So you can explicitly specify it here, but by default it is already static. Static elements appear on the viewport exactly as they are in the markup. So you can see here the blue block follows the red block. The green block follows the blue block and on the ui you can see the blue block follows the red block the green block follows the blue block this is exactly how it is on the markup like i mentioned earlier you cannot apply vertical and horizontal positioning styles like top left right and bottom so let's try this on the blue block top 20 pixels left 20 pixels and go back here and refresh you can see the blue block is not affected however you can apply margins so i'm going to apply uh let's say a margin left of 40 pixels and on the ui you can see that the blue element pushes the green element this is because margins are not used for repositioning elements if you are repositioning this blue block it will not affect the other elements around but because you are moving and pushing it with margin it's going to affect the green block it pushes it to the right so margins are not used for positioning elements and like i said because static is a non-position style top and left does not apply to it that is static which is the default let's move to the next one which is related I'm going to apply a position of relative here and I'm still going to leave the top 20 pixels and left 20 pixels. As you can see now, because relative makes an element positioned, you can use the top and the left. And because we are repositioning this blue block and not pushing it, you can see the green block here is not affected. The top 20 pixels is calculated, the left 20 pixels is calculated and this element moves. You can go as far as making this even 40 pixels and you can see none of the elements around are affected so relative is a style which makes the element appear as it is in the markup which is still red blue and green block red blue and green block but when you apply positioning values on it is going to move without affecting the others let's move to the next one which is absolute and this is where things become a little different let's apply a position of absolute which is the next css position and I'll come to this container here and I'll give this a position of relative. I'll explain why in a minute. Let's see what we have. As you can see in the markup, we have red, blue, red block, blue block and green block. But as you can see, the green block takes the space of the blue block as if the blue block wasn't even there in the first place. What absolute does is absolute takes an element from the flow it is in the markup. It's almost like it wasn't there. So other elements would occupy the space of that absolute element. As you can see again, the green block occupies the space of this blue block. You can also use top and you can use left. But what happens now is the absolute element is going to be positioned in respect to the closest relative parent that's why you see i added relative to this container so it is going to respect this container here this rectangle and it's going to calculate its position which as you can see is top of 40 pixels and left of 40 pixels so it's going to calculate from here to here 40 pixels from here to here 40 pixels it's going to do this on the closest relative 
parent. So if it doesn't find a closest relative parent, it is going to do it in respect to the viewport. Now this blue is calculated in respect to the viewport, which is 40 pixels, 40 pixels. And I'm going to test this by making this and this zero. And you can see this is the viewport. But when I come back and I add the relative, you can see it's going to use the relative container this is what absolute does absolute respects the closest relative parent which can be an ancestor but if it doesn't exist it just uses the viewport let's move to the next css position which is fixed and i'm just going to change this absolute here to fixed fixed is very similar to absolute the only difference between fixed and absolute is that absolute uses the closest relative parent, but fixed doesn't care about any relative parent. Fixed only respects the viewport, which you can see here. So if I apply maybe 50 pixels, it's going to calculate this using the viewport. And let's say I remove this right left and add a right of 40 pixels. You can see it's going to push it to the right here of the viewport this is fixed i'm going to remove this and make this back left let's move to the last css position which is sticky now sticky is a css property that switches between relative and fixed or you can say relative and absolute i'll just use relative and fixed and it does this in a scrolling container so if a container isn't scrolling your sticky may not work for you so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come here to the container I'll add an overflow Y with auto and I'm going to remove the display flex here. I would remove the position fixed for now. I would remove the top and the left. So we have our scrolling container here, right? I also want to add another element here just so you can easily see the, the difference. So I'm going to add this element here, which is other block. And for the style of the other block, I'm just going to give this gray. When I go back here, you can see this is a scrolling container and then you have the gray here. Now I'm going to apply sticky on the blue block. When you apply sticky on the blue block, what you have to do is you have to tell the blue block at what point should it be sticky. So I'm going to give this a top of 10 pixels. What this means is that the blue block as you can see here is relative it appears as it is in the flow red blue green since this is a scrolling container applying a top of 10 pixels means once this blue block meets the condition of 10 pixels top distance between this block and the container then it should be fixed that's why i said before that it switches between relative and fixed so we're going to see this as we scroll as we scroll you can see I'm scrolling up again scrolling down you can see that as the blue block meets the 10 pixels top distance it becomes fixed so you can see the green block is going the gray block is going other things are going but it remains fixed and if I try scrolling down again it scrolls with it so the sticky switches between relative and fixed and what you have to do is you specify a condition that once it's meet this condition in the scrolling container then it should be sticky at that point these are the different css positions and how they cause elements to behave like i said static is the default relative is similar to static but it gives more power to static by causing it to be a position element absolute takes an element from the flow it is in the markup and it respects the closest relative parent or the viewport fixed respects only the viewport it doesn't respect any relative container like absolute and sticky switches between relative and fixed by making an element fixed when it meets a condition in a scrolling container. If you found this helpful, kindly share with others, like this video and also subscribe for more.